Hola campers! Alrighty, well, what you see here is, well, it's where I'm going to end up cutting this rear section out because I'm going to tub it straight across. And so I use the tape to mark it, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting like right here pretty much. I'm going to start with my saw, but you're going to see that even though the saw is really, really good and I love it, just not good enough. It's time to bring out the D9 of cutting tools. Now, believe it or not, I got a better one coming here at the end of this week. But, wow, okay, see? These, these blades I bought, I got these on Amazon like two years ago. I was going to be using them for something else, and I am not joking you. They slice through this like butter with actually leaving very little melted plastic debris. at this point right here literally that I realized eh, I'd better go back to the handsaw because I really don't want to cut through a section of this frame area that well I don't want to cut through After a lot of review, I started thinking about where my next cuts are going to be. And, well, you can see right there, and then it'll also be on the back side of that. So I've got to be, like, really careful, which is exact. I'm barely putting any pressure on it right now at all. I am trying right here to be so careful that I don't cut through, but instead what happened was it was so weak that it actually broke. You'll see here in a minute.
this area was so darn flimsy, even though it's glued down solid, that I decided to go ahead and use my rotary reel again. Because I'm telling you what, I mean, that that is a great tool. And of course, with that final just little bit back to the handsaw. Okay, I really wish I could do a good Morgan Freeman because right now I'd be going, and right here is when he realized he really screwed up bad. I did. Instead of cutting the wheel well over another sixteenth of an inch, yeah, I cut it almost down the middle, and you can see there wasn't enough left to hold it. I'm, I got a fix for it, and it does work. And no, this is not the fix. <laughs> now the thickest of the styrene sheeting that I have and this is going to be the inner part of the wheel well I mean it's the best thing I could figure out to do and honestly it ends up it, it does work oh and if you look closely when I flip it over you can see I glued a styrene rod right there. That's my fix for fixing that broken wheel well. Now I only did that one side first to make a good tack. So now I'm going to the other side so I can get another clip on it. Just a little bit of glue I put on there. And then I'm going to take and do a couple more spots and add a couple more of these clamps is what I'm just going to call them. The reason I'm using the hot air right now is something you can't see. Well, maybe you can a little bit. You see how kind of uneven it all is? Uh, right here, big old bump in the middle of it. 
That's because I decided to use my lighter. That did not work. Boy, did it warp it so bad it was ridiculous. And on the back side, what I did, you can see the finish filling in, is I loaded that back side up, boy, with sprue goo. So what I got here now is I'm just going to heat it up a little bit to make it pliable. And then I'm going to use the wood dowel rod I got here to go ahead and roll it in and flatten it out. And wow, it really works too. I recommend this for fixing up any kind of screw ups when you do like that from overheating. <laughs> Sorry for the orange color, I got no idea why I am using my regular lighting I've been using, and for some silly reason, oh, it turned it orange. But what I'm doing right here is I'm now putting the a rod on, to say, where I am going to take and do the front part of the frame. Now you can see, I kind of glued in one side, the other, I only barely tacked it in because I want to be able to move it a little bit. But I'm going to use this as a dry shaft loop and the front area to go ahead and cut my new subframe contector, uh, connectors that I'm going to go ahead and put on. Geez, I can't speak English today. It's mad, Jim. Now, I didn't do anything. It just cleared up all on its own. A little insane with the uh, super glue and I tried to wipe it out and well that's why you see a little bit of that stuck paper towel. Urgh! And as always my friends once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to comment, but make sure you like, share, subscribe, and please ring that bell. Have a good one, my friends.